I, this is a strange like thing that happened, but I auditioned for Spider-Man the day EZA came out. Like the day, September 17th. It was yeah. the day it came out. So it was interesting because I had gotten to play this character that I was so insanely in love with in EZA. I loved that character more than anything. And Gwen Stacy was a very different kind of experience, you know, in that kind of movie. And, I, and I've said this before, really what was most exciting about Spider-Man was working with Andrew. That was yeah. the, that was what I was like, oh my God, when I did that audition, I was like, he's so amazing. He's such an incredible actor. That was what I was so excited about. It wasn't really the idea of like, oh, it's this huge larger than life franchise. And if anything, that was like really daunting. Yeah. But it was a great experience and it was something I felt I felt like I was really lucky to do and I was so glad I was able to do. But this is the first time, Cruella is the first time since that movie that exactly. it's that kind of, like you were saying, like that kind of, really more than anything, it's a character that people know anywhere you are in the world, which yeah. is not, which the only other comparison that I've been in is, is Spider-Man. I caught up with Andrew really recently, and like my sense is he's very, very protective of those films. Like you know, like those were like they were they were tough experiences for a variety of reasons. Yeah. A lot of cooks in the kitchen, etc. Yeah. But at the end of the day, like they were pivotal moments for your careers. And like, do you look at that back similarly at, at those two films with kind of like completely? And I had wonderful experiences making them, even though I know they they were challenging. But I loved working with Mark, and I loved working with that whole team. It was really. I don't know, a special experience for me. And I, I feel, yeah, similarly protective. And I feel protective of that version of Spider-Man too. Are, but are you some wonderful Spider-Men throughout history. This is true. <laughs> it's like Hamlet. You just pass it on to the next. There's so many, all the Spider-Men have been wonderful. <laughs> well, you know, the rumors lately are that all the Spider-Men are going to get together. I don't know if you caught my interview with Andrew recently. He gave the most vicious denial that he is in the new Spider-Man film. Oh my. Not vicious in an aggressive way, but he, it was aggressive, <laughs> and aggressive in a sweet Andrew way. Yes. Uh, there also are rumors that you're going to be involved. Have yeah. you heard these rumors? I, I, I have heard those rumors. I don't know if I'm supposed to say anything, but I'm not. <laughs> That's what Andrew said too, so you're in good company. I okay, mean, all right, cool. It's like, I don't know what you're supposed to respond as a as an alumnus. Uh, <laughs> well, you guys meet as a secret society of former spider exactly. men and women, right? Yeah. Like the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, yeah. yeah.